Welcome to Starbase Pink. This is your daily space and SpaceX news. Let's start this episode with Stock Space. As always, keep an eye on that great team. They tested the second stage engine. Until the moment I posted this video, we don't have names for the rocket or for the engine, but we have the sound. Let's hear it. And this is stripped down second stage bottom for this early testing. Each yield will cover everything up in the near future. SpaceX's Falcon 9 and Dragon launched from Launch Complex 39A, carrying NASA's astronaut Nicole Mann, Jos Casada, JAXA astronaut Koichi Wakata, and Roscosmos cosmonaut Anna Kikina. We have a very nice view of Starship 39A launch site. We got information that Polaris Down mission is now planned for no early than March 2023. Here we can see the crew access arm moving away from Dragon, strong back retraction and Falcon 9 as always wiggling at that moment. Let's play this video faster to see this movement clearly. And we have liftoff. State separation and second stage engine ignition. And here we can see Falcon 9 first stage landing on the Just Read Instructions drone ship. It was the first landing for booster 1077. And we have this nice view of Dragon separation. About 7 hours later, we saw another Falcon 9 launch of 52 Starlink satellites from Space Launch Complex 4. This view brings back the memories of Starship SN11. And we have lift off. Off of Starlink 429, go Falcon 9. Cool view of Falcon 9 coming out of the fog and clouds. Everything went according to the plan as always. And we have booster 1071 landing for the second time on of course I still love you drone ship. It was the fifth successful landing for this booster. Elon shared this amazing video, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's the first time we have a view from one of the Starlink satellites after deployment. We can see the other satellites and on your right we can see the second stage the orbit burn. The question is why Starlink satellites have cameras? The answer is it's an engineering camera to monitor the solar array deployment. And we have Crew-5 exiting Dragon and entering the International Space Station. As always a lot of hugs here and there and everywhere. Rocket Labs Electron rocket launched today carrying the Gazelle satellite. This is liftoff. State separation and second stage Rutherford vacuum engine ignition. Peter Beck reacts, he said, perfect mission completed again by the team. Booster 7 moved today again from the Mega Bay to the orbital launch site. Here we can see booster positioning underway. Chopsticks moving up, preparation to lift the booster on the orbital launch mount. And we have good news about the capstone mission. Recovery commands were executed this morning. The spacecraft spin stopped successfully. Next stop is arriving to lunar orbit on November 30th. That's it for now. This is the end of this episode. See you tomorrow.